goal, so should still be fine to, to build that up for the next fight. They're looking for a fight, but Ace's Doom is at the uh, ready. He's traded. He's going to look to get on the back. Let's jump in. Insane. He'll put the BKB in stun. He's on Muerta. He's down the two of them. The Muerta gets dragged back. Mickey's able to put the BKB. But Ace still on top of him. Muerta. Mickey is focusing down the Doom, but it's not enough damage to kill Ace off. Ace is able to get away. So you know with the ultimate, they'll turn towards Dracula. They'll get pushed back here for now with the Fury and caught by the silence. But he shoves himself back in. He tries to get in aggressive, He's but it's going to cost him his life. The Aegis has gone, Nietzsche, jumping the back line, switch towards Tofu, Tofu, the first off, they've got the control of the Duracha, Duracha, puts the BKB, Sundorn to Nietzsche, Duracha is trying to run the Cypher's crashing down onto Mickey, forces forward, finishes him off, Mickey takes the kill, Ace to fall, Mickey gets the double, he's ready for more, triple kill for Mickey, ultra kill for Mickey, it's going oh rampage <laughs> for Mickey on the board. You can't, <laughs> unless you start on pure. Yeah. That save is always going to be there, so you kind of have to force Bepum into you. You have to force them into a deep soon stone. They're going to try. Trying to go for GPK. Yeah, Where's I mean, the save? There it is. Instantly a jump away to the Remnant. And now you use Roar in a DK form. So now you're basically committed to doing the Roshan here and taking the Tombstone fight or... No fire going to be boom. used with a glimpse back on Ace. Trying to burst him down while they also have intercepted no straight up from you. Pure. He denies this the man fight. The man and the man fight Drachio. against Hunter. Drachio, he's winning it! Durantio cleaves through three different heroes one by one. Seven goes down HP. to 50 20 HP. Oh, oh, 20 HP. Yeah, it, could, it could be risky though. Ooh, yeah. I mean, it, doing it against the team that's going to be pushing down towers with. Well, they lose the thing. They really went for that illusion. Oh, it's a big chrono. It's all five. Oh my goodness, it's a five man chrono. Steena jumps in. He's ready to turn it around. They're taking down two. Man who's got to run. He's not going to get out. He's three dead. And now they'll turn over towards Sai. And Sai. He can't run from this. He's been slowed down for dead. They'll miss with the boundless strike. The primal spring will connect, but boxes out with Leap. But that's four. Uses that BKB, even turns around because on the other side, they've got Gavage on the right click. Zephyr's going to be taken out by Ramses, who's got himself a mega kill streak. He's 5 0 and 1. And it doesn't feel like the TA is really looking to stop. Even going behind the tier 2 tower and throwing the meld over onto KP, splashing on the high. Flame breaks there. Ramses is blinking in, and he's pushing the false prop. So he'll survive, but the rest that. of his team is going to be in a lot of trouble. They get the gun to KP, they'll look over Ramsey, surviving it all. He also has the Aegis, there's the shallow frame, they'll take out Hyde. And now, Savage, Savage. GPK, go, GPK goes down, Ultra Kill is there for Ramsey, he's give him a range. range, just 19 minutes into the game, and he'll finally lose that back. Toby has now some number Rampus. two, can Thunder focus it down in time, the auto attacks all coming in, no, Toby is going to stun all four enemy heroes, allowing Pure to pick up another kill, that's he a dive back either. on one, PA with DD rune back in the fight, finds the Abyssal, and chops through Pure another time, he's on to Fishman who just died back now, Toby looks to be easy pick but Katomi is first. There goes Pakaz for four. He's looking for to make it five now. Stormstormer blinking out of vision, but is scouted, and it's Pakaz who will die at the start of the fight, but does get revenge with the rampage. Oh, Might that makes Arcane Aura look epic, so you have to give props to Val for that one. All right. Mortimer's Kisses is set up a bit here. Long range kill onto Maposhka looks to be a freebie. It is Though actually he is peeling up a decent amount. Shiro jumps in as well. Gets the cross oh, here. It's, it's on run. two. Beautifully done. The chalk oh, from the follow. Gee. And that is disastrous for Team Spirit. They lose four and do basically no damage. Oh, now they're going to go for Roche. The timings may not work out. They've got the Hawk. They know that it's being taken, but they just can't get in there in time. Or can they? Corona with Roche so low! He picks up the Aegis. He steals it away. They've got the Supernova down. Now they're going to get the kill on UR as well as Quinn. That's absolutely out of this world! Because now he's popped the BKB. He doesn't get anybody dead it's on this Chrono. But now he's got it's it's everyone. He's got the refreshments on to everybody. The whole side of Quincy crew is locked up. The Chrono Spheres are perfect from our team. Uh, I'm is... not quite sure who the... Ooh, the person would be to pick that up. Got all their ultimates, 23 Savage. Oh, toss back, skewer back, attempted. But Matumba Man pops his BKB. It's a cute idea, but they can't afford any pickoffs here as uh, they have no buybacks. That was a sick idea. Come on, that would have been insane. 
would have been, but unfortunately Whoa. didn't quite have the initiation. The oh. hog skewer into the impetus shot Whoa. as well. Into the throne. Into the throne. Oh, he didn't oh. have no throne. Across no target. He's going to respawn to the fountain. Can they actually get him stunned here? He does have a BKB. If they can skewer him back even further, but BKB activated by Nisha. Oh, he killed the tree. He killed the tree. He knocked him down on the ground, but at the same time, the buildings are in trouble. Top oh. back to the fountain again. <laughs> Nisha, he's like, get me out of here. I don't want to be in the fountain anymore. This is not a fun game. But damn it, all the rest of the team is finishing off those racks. They're going to turn in the tiny, chain on him up and down, one dead, but the melee back's in trouble. Matumba Man, he doesn't have a BKB. He's trying to finish it off all by himself. They do manage to get the disarm, though. He needs to be able to finish off that melee barracks to get the makers, but he can't quite do it. Same goes with the Lich. He can't do anything either. That melee barracks will survive on 200 HP. 20 wow. seconds, yeah. This is, I mean, Ace is, Ace and Quinn, honestly, they've been doing everything to try and hold on this game. The way yeah. the Leblet started the fights. Quinn again trying to start something off. Goes in with the BKB and the Remnant on top of Dark Margo. Again, Dark Margo puts the BKB himself, turns to the Bastion and deep. He's over the rupture, the silence. Quinn's gone, he has buyback. The Rax, they're already taken down. As Beast Coast will be able to claim the creeps. Ace is in with the Aghanim's Doom. Stolen Doom. He's closed the gap on towards Parker. Parker, of course, does have the Aegis, so he's going to be back for round two. Parker's taken down. Dark Mungo won't have the same luxury. He's dead, but he Quinn does have buyback, and he does have Fiend's Gaze ready to get back in. Schofield turns with the Stolen Doom down on the Ember Spirit, and Quinn, he fought back for this. It's a dieback on the Ember. Double kill for Parker. Beast Coast, they look to be on the verge of closing this one up unless the final four of Flaming Gladiators who can do anything to turn it, but they cannot. Celery's dead. Tofu's going to get chased back to the fountain. Duraccio will try his Give best to rampage. stand this round, but they're losing their heroes. Parker's diving in. He wants to try and find it, but he's caught by the stun. The fountain's beat him down with the Decrepify. They keep he gets it. safe, and they'll allow him to waveform out, pick up the rampage with the adaptive. Well, they will see if they can find an invasive move into the enemy triangle. The Poshka well, is the frontliner front here. Good. Smoke is popped. Oh, he must have okay, straight he in. Oh, jumps in. He's getting decimated, but there's a save from Ollie for now. But no, there's too much damage to withstand. He does not have buyback. Oh, the JP spear. is next on the list. Double kill for Yotaro. As it looks like Flyfly with the BKB will get out of dodge, but a triple kill now for the Morphling. And nice arena from Collapse. They find Flyfly. This will be an enormous kill. He turns into Monkey King for just a moment. Ultra kill Yotaro. What a turnaround from Team Spirit. And make it a rampage. Yotaro, Beast Mode enabled at TI-10. It's not free, of course. He said with plenty of buybacks here, but crucially not one on the Ursa. He's bought out here, and the call is going to find him. But side off the high ground he goes. As now Matumba onto the back lines. Moon, the ghost sceptered up, though. He's going to be immune. As Tomato now fighting 1v1, but Saberlight, he's bought back. He's found the roar onto Matumba, man. Matumba might go down on his first life, but the Abyssal, the Satanic, the Lifesteal, he actually gets outside out. of his own Wukongs, puts up the second one. Another Abyssal, thanks to the refresher onto Saberlight. He's dying here. Zai trying Surprising. to get back into this fight and is going to be doing some work here, but Tomato ripping apart the back lines now, along with Bryle, as they have gotten through the techies. Down goes Insania. Mickey fighting for their lives out here as well, but Matumba, he's had to TP back. They're starting to lose base to the Megas, but Zai, he's in. He wants the dunk, but the heals are too much. Bryle's alive. Tomato on the ultra kill. Make it a rampage, as he will clean up all five enemy heroes. A lot of help here on Shopify. This could go really bad. Abed positioned well here. It's going to be the Blood right. It's going to connect on three. Everyone. The Rupture is out, and Saberlight is just dead to start this one off. The Arena does fall. The Aegis on the ground, and it's snatched by Abed, but it's not on your Dusa. He's alone. He's running out on mana. The Chain Frost just destroys him. Triple kill for Nightfall. The, yeah. You know, Doom to follow it up. Nightfall having a great time. Give him Ultra the Rampage. Kill now, looking for crit. The man deserves it. Give him rampage. the Rampage. Is it going to come through? He's throwing the high fives. Oh, yeah. Crit. With a glimmer, has an illusory orb. Oh, oh! Wait a minute. He's got advanced schmoves here on crit, and uh... says, "I'll take that. Thank you." Lela's playing a little bit with the side of pain gaming here. Is gonna get hold out to place. Goes for that epicenter, and he's just gonna get beat down. So might end up actually falling. He's taking a lot of damage though from all four of these heroes. He is so tanky. Well, the is coming. Oh, he's coming. Lelis, he will eventually get taken down, but in comes Hector, and he says, speedy, speedy boy. 444 going to get chopped down it's into pieces. They're going four. right back in. Look at this Hector. He wants King RD. Nothing's going to stop him. He goes right in there. Does need to back up, though. We'll drop the blood right. HFN, he's getting blocked. Can he get himself away fast? But these Mjolnir procs coming out. There's going to be the taking down HFN. Give him a rampage. They're giving it. There it is. There's the rampage. Then they call Buys back, but it's 
the E. Doesn't want to be so. Unfortunately, it looks like it is. Yeah, he's a, he's a little picky. He can't even get that BKB off. He's just toast. Just toast. Gets the Sunder off. Right. He's trying. We'll be able to take down Frank, but <laughs> it's him against the world right now. Look at him go, though, because Starbucks says, come back here, Prada. I'm sick of your nonsense. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to Sunder you, too. Get out of here, oh, Leo. Okay. I don't want none of that. But uh, uh, I don't know. This is looking like it's going to be curtains. Very, very good. Oh, they can stay. No Okay, this this is not over. There's no buybacks other than Life Stealer right now. Now, It might just be over. That's they know the throne will not fall. Or maybe, maybe it actually the will. Dream Coil comes in onto three BKBs now as well. A really nice blast off coming through from the techies. There will be the rounder, but that's going to be another luck. kill. Onto Fogus. Marcy will go down there as well. The back lines going to be able to get the Rolling Thunder. Jump onto the Void Spirit. The Void Spirit is going to be caught out once again. There's going to be a really nice sticky bomb onto him now as well. He will go down the buyback from Marcy, but is it going to be enough? The Sharpshooter comes out they need their here for Till. Still stands. Slark will be back into this now as well. Fazia. It's going to be another Swashbuckle. She gets who gets that BKB off now as well. They might be able to take down Fazia. If you want to fight even more into this disposed comes through onto the, the, the Medusa but the Medusa is going to be a good fight. Gonna stand and fight buybacks coming through from everybody the four stars Kiritich he's doing so much damage with his right clicks they're going to be able to take down his only two remaining on the side side the side and Kiritich. do they have enough no they're going to be able to get the kill she gets what she gets who this time has the goal to get the buyback off now as well Kato no will go down rampage for the Medusa and they're going to be able to get another kill and this game is as good as done Namiga once again really does make it feel like it's anybody's game and that's potentially the answer here for the side of secret but they're gonna jump in UIW may be looking for the air spike but never lands it up in the air is puppy they've got the normal punch directly on right on top of paparazzi that's gonna force the buyback all the level goes in with the bkb they've got the hook shot on the back lines and that's actually gonna hold up dy so it's with the BKB. We're doing a lot of damage here. Onto the Viper. They've got the Doom. It's out of the dark here. They're up the end as they get the kill on the Crystal. He's going to buy back. And now, ooh, and drained as well as the finger hitting onto Resolution. They refresh again. They continue to go forward. They get the kill on a Resolution. They'll look over at each of the right clicks in. The Incredible Blade once again. They'll lock down the Shadow Fiend and get themselves three. Make it a fourth. 
Lincoln on the buyback on three of these heroes. They've already killed off Zayata again. He's dead for 107 seconds. They pop the Lincoln's on a resolution. They're still trying to make a move with the extra and being popped by Paparazzi. He's in their face. T.Y. goes down. They'll take up the tree protector, but he's got buyback. Rezo falls. He's gonna be gone for two minutes. So will Crystal. It's looking like Luke's gonna have himself a rampage. Looking over it, each as he tries to stand his ground, but the hex comes out from UIW, and Luke gets the rampage as well as the GG. Because one moment, notice. Especially when S4 blinks into a creep wave. Jump forward, finds two. That's a good two to get, but the Aeon Disc already proc crit living through this one, trying to find the follow up. It's gonna be there. They take down one. They are going to possibly. No, they can't get two mail. He's walking away. They find the finish. The black hole dropped down onto Arteezy. It's not enough. They're trying to run away. Is it gonna be enough to break the catch the control? He time walks out of there, but now the turnaround. Ben one coming through with the. Who does it to him?